Okay, welcome back to another SOLIDWORKS tutorial on Guide to SOLIDWORKS. Uh, what we're going to be looking at today is creating a Lego brick model. Uh, this is going to be the first in a series of videos about um, creating or modeling Lego components. Um, uh, let's get started. So we're going to start off with this component today. So let's go to a new and we will start a new part there. Okay, so we open up a new uh, parts modeling section uh, and we're gonna create this Lego brick. So I'm gonna start sketching on the top plane and So I'm going to start sketching the top plane um, and I am going to start off with a centre rectangle to create the outer shape of my Lego brick. Uh, now the sizes to this are going to be 15 point eight millimeters. by 31.8 millimeters. Okay, just making sure it's picking up millimeters, this little size. Okay, so what we are then gonna be looking at doing is extruding that shape. So I'm gonna make that into a cube and I'm going to extrude that. Um, uh, in this case, I'm going to extrude that up by 9.6. Okay, so I've effectively got the generic shape of the Lego brick. However, I need to hollow out the bottom and I need to put my uh, circles coming up on top. So let's start to do that. And then we add in the rest of the detail after that. So I'm going to come to the bottom face. And I'm going to sketch on that bottom face again using the center rectangle tool. And I'm going to leave some distances around the outside. So I want a thickness around the edge of 1.2 from there to there. And I want an extrude uh, on both sides. And then I want to extrude that, cut it into the model, leaving only one mil gap at the top. So I want to go 8.6 high. Like so, just cutting out that internal shape. Now, what I'm going to do now, I've got that internal shape cut out. I'm going to come back onto this top face. And on that top face, I am going to sketch, and I'm going to sketch a circle in this top corner. Now, to make that easy for myself, I'm going to flip that so it's normal to that face. Just using the tool there. And I'll be able to see this face straight on. So I'm just going to dimension that up. And that's uh, 3.9 along that top edge. And 3.95 along that edge, giving me the position for that circle. Now that is 4.8 milli diameter. So I'm gonna go 4.8 and drop that in there. Okay. Now from here, I can do this two ways. I can use the pattern of the sketch to create the rest of them, or I could turn that into a feature, yeah, extrude it, and then pattern that extrude. Now, I always find personally that um, if I make a mistake, I can edit features easier than I can mess around with sketches. So I'm going to turn it into a feature first. Extrude that. Now that comes up by 1.8. So as you can see there now, that's just coming up out the top. And, and then once I've created that feature, that extrude. I am now going to pattern that 
So I'm going to create a linear pattern on that. And I want to give it a direction. Now direction is parallel to the is parallel to the object that I select. I'm going to select this edge here. And it'll follow a pattern that um, parallel to that edge. Just increase the amount that I want. And I'm going to drop down this from 10 mil to an 8 milli gap, like so. And that's the distance between each one. That's direction one. Direction two, I'm going to use this edge. And I'm just going to up that to two. And you see it's put it up there. If I just flip the direction, it'll put it down. And again, rather than 10 mil, after an eight milli gap between them. And what that's done is pattern that single feature to create all eight rather than be doing them one by one. Like so. Okay, so once I've got them on the top of there, I need to add in the rest of the detail. Now these aren't solid all the way through, they have a hollow out in the bottom. So I'm gonna come down onto the bottom face. So I'm just gonna go normal to that face which will allow me to see it straight on. Now from there, if I sketch on my circle, and what I'm doing is I'm creating a circle that's gonna be a hollow out underneath each of them eight circles. So I'm gonna put it in the same position as the other one, so 3.95 down. And 3.9 across. This time though, I've got a diameter of 2.6 for the circle. And I'm gonna cut that out. Features, cut. And it's gonna cut from this bottom face, it's gonna cut 1.7 up. 1.7 up into that material. And you'll see there, it's creating a cut up inside that component. So if we look at that from that view, you can see it's cut up inside that feature. Now, I'm gonna pattern that again. So I wanna pattern that cut, um, and I wanna follow the same process. So a parallel edge to follow, and it's gonna be four and eight mil as set on the previous, and another parallel edge to pick there. And I'm just going to flip that again. So we're in the same, in exactly the same positions we were for the first ones. Take that and you can see there, just through that quick patterning process, we've got the holes underneath each of them features for the top circles. Okay, so now what we're going to look at is the struts that come down from the bottom or the inside of this component to align with the base here. So um, there are three. There's one in the center of, of each of these sections. So I'm going to start with the middle one to make it nice and easy for myself. Um, I'll sketch on that face and I'm going to turn that as though it's normal too, so I can see it straight on. And I'm going to create two circles inside each other. Okay, so now I've drawn them, let's give them some sizes. So we've got 6.51 for the outside. And we've got 4.8 for the inside. Now I want to extrude them, so I'm going to features extrude, and I'm going to bring them up to a line with this surface. So rather than going blind and putting in a size, I'm just going to go up to surface from my options, click on the surface that I want, and it will extrude it up to that surface. Tick there. And like so, it's extruded up to the same height of that surface. We can do the same uh, with either two. I'm going to follow that pattern process again. So, pattern of my centerpiece. So, I'm going to go along a parallel. I'm going to drop that down this time, just a two. And again, it's eight apart to put me in the center of that section there uh, and repeat that process pattern and I am going to again follow that parallel but this time I'm just going to flip the direction put it on the other side tick and we've got all three in there now okay so that's looking quite smart all we need to do is a couple of little extra bits and we are nearly finished um, so 
what we want to do is put the strut down through the center of here, which strengthens up the sides um, on both sides in the center. So the way we do that, I'm going to use this circle and I'm going to draw on this bottom face again. So I sketch on that face and I am going to go at normal to that. Yep, like so. Okay. And, and I'm going to put a center line straight down through the center, the origin down to the bottom there. Okay. Now, what I'm also going to do is the outside circle here, I'm going to create and uh, convert the entity of that feature, which will give me a sketch following that outside entity. Then using that center line, I'm going to offset a line either side. So it's bi-directional, make sure that's tipped. Now this bit is 0.8 milli wide, which means I'm going to go 0.4 each way. So 0.4, and I'll get 0.8 milli wide across. 0.4 that way, 0.4 that way. Take that. I'm just going to create a line across the top of here and across the bottom of here that closes off the sketch. Oh, just too far there. Still like that. And just closing off that sketch like so. Now I could trim all that up, um, uh, which is fine, but it's a bit more of a waste of time than needed. So what I can also do if I go to features, extrude, I can select the areas that I want to extrude. So I want to extrude that area, that area, that area, and that area. Now as long as my drawing is fully defined, and I've not got anything underdefined, it's fine to do it that way. If I've got things under defined, then I might want to trim it up and make sure it's fully defined. Uh, the extrude here wants to come down 6.3 or up 6.3. And it'll come there. And it's just supporting either side there. Take that. You can see that in place now. Now, the last bit that we need to do is some very fine detail around the outside or the inner side here. Uh, which is just some little notches that hold, help hold this Lego brick to the Lego brick below or above. Um, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to put some ribs in the sides here. So if I go to uh, sketch on that outside surface, sketch on there, and I'm going to create a circle. And I'm just going to drop that on that inside edge like so. Okay, now I want that circle to be 0.4 milli diameter, 2.0.2 milli radius. And I need it to be on line with the center of, on line with the center of the current circle we have down here. Okay, so I need it to be 3.9 along in that direction. Okay. I'm going to extrude that down to the surface at the bottom, like so. Take that, and we've got a little rib in there. Okay, I'm going to repeat that pattern that along the outside edge all the way along, so it's on line with each of these three here as well. So following that pattern process, using that, following that pattern process again, um, we're going to go along the direction across the top, and I'm going to go up to four. So I've got four of them along there, and take that there. Okay, now I want this on both sides, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror that across. So if I use the mirror tool here, it's picked up and it wants to mirror that feature, that pattern feature, and I want to mirror, so I go down to my drop down here. It's asking me what I want to mirror about. I can do it about a face or a plane. Now there is a plane running straight through the middle of here. So if I drop down this, I'll find the plane that's running through, which is the front plane there, and it will mirror it across that plane. Take care, and we are spot on. Okay, so we also want to put two on this side and two on that side as well. So I'm going to just repeat that process again. Um, uh, starting from the top face, sketch, circle on the top face there. And I am going to make that 
0.4. And this time I'm going to dimension it so it's 3.95 in from that edge or across from that edge, same distance as the circle. Extrude that. Again, I'm going to go up to surface and click that bottom surface. Like so. And then I'm going to pattern that along. I only want to go along once. Don't need four of them. I'm just going to go down to two. So I've got the two, eight milli apart like so. Take that, place them in there. And then from there, I'm going to mirror that across the center plane again. So mirror, drop down here, figure out which plane is going straight across. It's the right plane. So I take on there. And then we can see the preview of the mirror across here. They're in the right position. So I'm happy with that. You can see all the ribs on the inside, like so. Now, the last thing we need to do here is just apply a material and an appearance. Um, but in terms of the modeling process, that's now complete. So now a Lego brick is made out of ABS. So I'm just going to edit the material. Find the polymers, plastics. And I'm going to throw for an ABS and apply that. Quotes. Now that's going to color it white. What I want to do is put a color to that so I can set an appearance. And I'm going to set the appearance to the part. And I'm going to again find the polymers. I'm going to go for a low gloss. My little bricks aren't particularly shiny. And I'm going to go for red. Just a particular color that I like. Take that there. And we've got a red Lego brick. All to scale, all to sizes, um, modeled up on SolidWorks. Hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Um, uh, like I said, this is the start of a sort of a playlist or a group of tutorials that are going to be around Lego components. Um, hope this helps you with learning a few bits around SolidWorks as well. Any comments, please feel free to put them on. Please like and subscribe this and I'll have another video on shortly. Thank you.